Prop's narrative function theory. Vladimir Prop was from Russia. He came up with a theory that certain character types are needed to drive a narrative forward. Prop's character theory suggests that characters of a certain type are essential to drive a narrative. These characters are usually the villain and the hero. He also came up with a list of eight characters which are essential to a fairy tale plot, but this can also be applied to a modern day genre such as horror. These are hero, the villain, the donor, the dispatcher, the false hero, the helper, the princess, and her father. I have chosen to look at the characters from The Woman in Black to see if Prop's theory applies to them. Number one, the hero, Arthur Kipps. Arthur is a young father who has lost his wife. He is sent away by his boss to order the paperwork of an abandoned house that has recently lost its owner. Little does he know, the house was in fact haunted. Kipps goes on a journey in which he tries to reconnect The Woman in Black with her son, to help the village, but also save his son. This, therefore, makes him the hero as he is seeking something. Number two, the villain. The villain I have chosen is the woman in black. Although when we see her backstory, we do feel pity for her as she did lose her son, she is the one who does the killing in this movie. She is the opposite of the hero because of this. Number three, the donor. The donor is there to help the hero by providing some magical tools or any advice in this circumstance. I have chosen for this two characters. Miss Fish, who offers the hero, Kip's advice, and or Elizabeth Daly, as she tries to foresee the future in order to help Kip's. Number four, the dispatcher. For this character, I have chosen Mr. Bentley, who is a head of the law firm in which Kipps works at. He sends Kipps on his journey. Although not with happy or kind regard, he does in fact send him to the place of horror. Number five, the false hero. I have chosen for this. I have chosen Samuel Daly for this. Samuel's role in the film appears to be nice and kind, but he also is a false hero as he thinks he is doing right by the village, but in fact he does more wrong for them. I've also chosen him for number six, the helper, as he does in fact help Kips. He helps him enter the house by getting away from the villagers, and he also helps him right at the end in burying the body and reuniting the woman in black with her son. Number seven, the princess, or in this case, the reward in which the hero is given after succeeding. In this case, I have chosen Kips' son, George Kips. Kips attempt to get back to his son and save him in the end makes his son the princess. Although it could be argued that the rest of the children are also the princes, as they are innocent beings who have been caught in this trap, Kips also tries to help them. And at last, number eight, the father, the protector of the princess. In this case, I chose the nanny. She has a very, very small role in the film, but she does look after the princess in terms of she is the nanny of Joseph Kips, so she watches over him. Prop's theory also comes into work between the relationship of Arthur Kipps and the woman in black, the hero and the villain, as without these two parts, the film could not come to be. These two characters are essential in bringing forward the narrative throughout the whole of the movie. As for Prop's theory of the eight characters, I think that some of these characters are suited to some horror genres and some horror movies, but for The Woman in Black, I believe that I had to stretch in order to fit these characters to these titles.